Come on, OBS, pick it up. Oh god, things are... Oh dear goodness. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Get my phone out. I don't know why my desktop thing is showing up. God damn it. It's mainly because I want to make sure. Everything's doing great. You see the mouse moving in any way? So I have no I don't think so. God damn it. No, do it this way. Yeah, mouse moving. See mouse move. Yep. Oh, we got a DLC. I got the DLC. I know I had a DLC. We're gonna go main story. I open my eyes, here I am. Home again. It's such a wonderful feeling. As usual, no one. That's good. That's very good. I like being alone. This is the main... <coughs> Sorry about that. Main hall. How nice it is here. Because every time I come here, I feel joy and pride because I dug all these holes. Hmm. I don't even know which hole to go into first today. Alright. One, two, three, or four. Which one? I don't know what the eye does. One, two, three, four. Two. Rarely go outside, especially since he's waiting for me on the way. There's a spirit standing right at the exit. Every time I pass by, he starts talking to me. I don't. I don't like to. I don't like to intercourse with him. What? <laughs> so every time I go back, and he just talks to me. He's like, "Oh fuck, I guess I gotta fuck him." <laughs> Oh, that does nothing. I am gonna do that. Ahead of me is a is my pebble space, where I keep the different stones I find during my excavations. I like to look at them, to stroke them. Oh, how I like to stroke them! <laughs> this is I'm gonna be clipped from most, so much shit this stream, aren't I? Sometimes I even dream about stroking a stone, and and the feeling is so real. I can feel it at the tip of my fingers. I love stones. found a rock sharp enough to cut through someone's belly. Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. This is my sleeping place. This is where I usually sleep. Although, I can sleep anywhere. I still prefer to sleep here. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep yet. Every tunnel is different. For example, this one is narrow, 
were than the other. Sometimes I think I might get stuck in it, and then my heart starts beating harder. My whole body gets tense. I can't help it. I have to move slowly if I want to get out of it. I love this feeling. What the fuck are you? Oh, she died when I was born, or so it seemed to me. I never knew my father, and maybe a creature like me has no father at all. For as long as I can remember, I have been alone all my life. At first, I just watched her body, hoping maybe something else would crawl out of it and I would have a new relative. However, this did not happen. I talked to her body from time to time out of loneliness. Though I mooed and made different sounds rather than spoke. I had to eat, it, eat its various parts because I was hungry. I am grateful to her. If not for her sacrifice, I would have died. Over time, I began to notice that her body was crusting over, and the places I had bitten were getting s scarred. I realized that she was, she was still alive, so I started eating her body more carefully, trying not to take too big of a bite. Layer after layer of her body grew a kind of crust, eventually forming a cocoon through which I could no longer penetrate. I don't know how much time I had passed since then, but I waited and waited long enough for something to happen, but nothing happened. It's a pity she never saw what a beautiful creature I had become, and many tunnels I had dug. Well, now I'm sure I'm all alone in the world. Great. I'm tired of worrying about her. Am I playing? Like outside, especially. Well, I checked all my holes. I think. I didn't do the walls and the surroundings of this place. Surprisingly, it's always been this way. I can't even imagine how such a wonderful place came to be, as if it had been prepared especially for me. Look at that, what a beautiful orifice. There are no favorites here, all equally pleasing to me. That's why I sometimes squint my eyes and rush into the tunnel as if at random. Oh, what the fuck? They're laughing at me. Every night when I try to sleep, they come to me and make fun of me. They laugh and have so much fun when I cry. They watch during the day and wait for me to do something stupid, looking for opportunities to make fun of me, so they can come and laugh at night. Sometimes they talk to me, they whisper things, they want me to go outside. After a night of torture like this, I usually wake up tired and hungry, so I crawl outside in search of food. Ah, what a terrible noise. Ah, I won't stop, what the hell? I don't seem to have a, any other choice. I have to go outside and see what's going on. There you are. I know you show up soon. It's because of those noises, isn't it? I don't want to leave my home. Maybe it will subside on its own? Nonsense. Maybe they came to take your home. Maybe they came for you. Who knows what's making those awful noises? You must come out. Okay, so I'm out. And then what? We know what's next. The same thing you always do. The same thing you do when you're hungry. What makes your breathing quicken and your whole body tingle. It's time to go outside again. As soon as I crawl out into the open air, a disgusting sight came into view. There are, there are metal creatures everywhere, and a horrible looking structure shirt stood before my eyes. I 
I had no specific plan of action, but one thing was obvious to me. There is construction going on, and they are building right over my head, and something has to be done about it. There are too many people around, and I couldn't act out in the open. I had to wait for the right moment, and I started watching. You vile creatures will pay for disturbing my peace. Yeah, bees, bees, bees. What should I do with you? I have to be careful. If they find me, it's all gone. But I can't do any, do nothing either. Strength is enough to deal with only one of them. Maybe if you, if you kill one. Hunger is getting stronger and stronger. No strength to hold back. Something has to be done. Bookworm, kill or spare? Yum, yum, yummy bee. This is my skull room. After the first time I ate a human, I I lay tired as, outside and didn't even have enough energy to crawl back home. The very first one I had, I had was some guy sitting in the woods drinking beer and talking to himself. At first, I didn't want to do anything to him. I was just interested in watching him. When he noticed me, he started laughing out loud and pointing his finger and then he suddenly picked up a stick and started hitting me with it when it was over I lay there for a long time looking at his skull over time I have accumulated so many skulls that sometimes I burrow inside this pile and gradually fall asleep worker skull another skull to my skull collection I have absolutely no memory of how it all happens it's like I'm in a wild ecstasy and then it's over my stomach is full and my breathing is heavy and I want to sleep Eventually the house was finished. Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stomping was causing me to have anxiety attacks with every knock. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move somewhere else? Where would I go? I don't have the energy to dig new tunnels. From time to time I had to crawl out and see if everything was okay. If they were looking for me, for some reason, I had a distinct feeling that they had to come to hunt me down. Then one day, people came in and dragged a huge number of boxes. A woman in blue dress yelled at them and waved her hands, and then everyone left. The woman stayed in the house. Time passed, and no one else came to the house. It was just this woman. Well, she doesn't look like a threat, I thought. However, pretty quickly, my life turned into a nightmare. Pretty much my entire living area was right under this house. Every action she took, every step, every sneeze echoed through the depths of my sanctuary. Her life became part of my life. Gradually, I got to know her schedule. What she does, how she does it, I knew all her habits, the rhythm of her gait. I began to feel that my sleep was disturbed. I just couldn't sleep with something constantly pounding, muttering, and shuffling over my body. In a few hours when it, I did manage to sleep, those ghosts of the night would come back to haunt me and make fun of me. Oh yes, now they really had a lot to laugh about. Thus, my torture became a 24-hour routine. I had to do something about it, even at the risk of being caught. At the risk of losing my home. Who am I kidding? I don't have a home anymore. She took it from me. I must get out and stop this nightmare. Chapter 1. Love? A thrill of excitement overwhelms me. I no longer have the strength to hold back and watch from the sidelines. It's time to find out who lives above me. I need to look around carefully before I act. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute, what? This is the first time I've ever been inside a human house. There's so much space, it makes me sick. The only thing worse than this is the outdoors. The fuck? It's locked. I was not expecting this. What a 
horrible, terrifying sound. I'll have to deal with that thing. It scares me. Remember people looking at these boxes here. I wonder what's in them. Well, I checked every room I could. Besides this. That's it. There she is, lying in front of me. All that's left to do is take the first step. But don't... But I don't dare why. Something is wrong. My mood is not the same. I don't feel the same rush of energy and unbearable restraint as before. Well, maybe I should come back later. Apparently now it's not the right time. Yeah, I should definitely keep an eye on her. Maybe it's a trap. Well, until next time, Birdie. Why couldn't I kill her? And all the sounds she makes now she doesn't don't seem so disgusting to me. I wouldn't even say that I've become interested in hearing what she was doing. There's water running down the pipe somewhere, and here and here she seems to be taking things out of boxes. Huh. I wonder what she's keeping in them after all. I think when I was lying at her door, I felt something strange. A feeling I've never had bef before toward another living creature. And so I took a pile of skulls, and I, so I looked at the pile of skulls, and I want to take some of my best skull, my dearest one, and take it to her, leave it under the door somewhere. What is happening to me? I can't tell if I'm a human or a monster. She's not here. Strange, the bed is empty, and apparently she's not in the house either. Where could she have gone at this hour? I have to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window in case she comes in. Here you are back again, but something has changed in you. Nothing has changed in me, everything is the same as before. Is it? I thought you liked being alone. It is, and I'll always be alone. I don't need anyone by my side. Why did you hesitate when you had a chance to kill her? What are you hoping for? What do you think will happen when she sees you? The same thing that always happens. Shut up, you mere... Your mere appearance will cause her to vomit. You're different from her. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Or do you think that she'll move here? <laughs> Maybe. But only if in pieces, right? Shut up, you vile spirit. I'll prove you wrong. I'll go back to her house right now and wait in her bedroom. And we'll go back to my place together, you understand. <laughs> I told you, you've changed. Alright, Bookworm, I'm about to die. Um, go ahead and say your eulogy right now. Because I'm going to die. Oh, <laughs> Note addressing Mark. Mark, who is he? Right, she died and as she lived. A dumbass. <laughs> Note tells him to remember to pick up the box from the nightstand that contains the candles needed for. Understand, that's a lot of words I don't know. Damn it, Mark, we did it. Take it to the basement. 
pay attention. It's still moving. Should we just dismember it right in the basement? Oh, but it hurts terribly. What happened? I don't remember how I got here at all. I read the note and then... Ah, it hurts. I can't remember anything. I have to go home. Okay, so it was a trap. Chapter 2, Betrayal? <laughs> this is the tent of those pesky campers. They obviously shouldn't have set up camp near my place. Oh, I gotta follow the glowing light stuff. Hey, bookworm, would you? It won't be long before I'm home again. Would you watch me if I was a worm monster on stream? Is remarkably similar to the one the little man had. I remember how in some fit of rage and hunger I killed him, and books fell out of the exact same backpack. I took them. That's how I learned to understand the language of humans. What's going on here? Oh, that's where it was. Ah, there we go. What the fuck? What is this, salt? I wasn't here before. My body feels weak and sleepy, so I think I should lie down for a while. But I need to go first. Did it really work? Why is this thing still moving? Fuck, something is wrong, Mark. I told you we should have dismembered it. At least we had a chance in the basement while it was passed out. You know, it wouldn't help anyway. It can only be killed through a ritual. That's what the book said. My whole body feels as if it's, it is weightless. I can't move. I can barely look from side to side. What's going on here? That's her. The girl I risked myself for by getting out. Who's that with her? I don't remember him. What an ugly thing it is. Do you think it knows what's going on? Who cares what that thing understands, Mark? It killed our father. Why doesn't it... It die... Is what worries me. Ugly. Why does she say such hurtful words when she didn't like when I brought her? And this is after all we've had? What a fool I was. I thought we were made for each other. It seemed to me that I knew her, her well. That maybe somewhere deep down... In her soul, she guessed about my presence and was waiting for me to come. Are you sure we haven't f forgotten anything? Solomon's cell is holding it together, but I don't see foam from his mouth or blue flames or anything like that. Holy shit, Mark. You're asking me that? Well, yes, I'm asking you. You have the book. That's what I th thought would happen someday. I mean, that's a good thing. Maybe I sh should really die. Why should I live? She treats me like that. I feel like I feel something new again. As if a thousand needles were tearing me from inside. Shit, Mark. I get it. We forget. We forgot. Don't tell me. We f f got the fucking candles, Mark. Fucking candles. I think my strength is coming back to me. Huh. I can move again. So that's how it is. So she wanted to get rid of me all this time. Well... You know, you've brought me a lot of new sensations, feelings that I haven't experienced before. Now, after everything that happened, I'm so tired and I'm really hungry. I want to take you out to dinner. Mark, I think it's going to break out. Now it's your turn to come to my house.
Revelation? Me and Mary is just another skull in my skull collection. From then on, the voices never ceased. They began to follow me around, follow me during the day. Laughter never ended, but it did annoy me. I finally found the meaning of my existence. I began to laugh with, the, with these bizarre creatures of the night. I began to enjoy waiting for the new tenants, playing with them eventually, of course. My tunnels were discovered, but by this time, I had already managed to move to another dwelling. Especially since my collection has grown so much, I needed more space. I also read a newspaper that after my tunnels were discovered, they found the remains of my creator there. They, s they say they never seen anything like this in their lives. As for Mary, I can hardly find her skull among all these remains now. Not and not that I would like to, but I am grateful to her. After her betrayal, I realized my place in the world, and now I work non-stop. When I get tired, I sit down and laugh non-stop while looking at my triumphant collection. Thank you for playing. Ending number two. Hey, game capture actually worked. Wait, refrigerator, elevator. Oh. I know you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Of course, you will stay right there. The fridge. Mr. Fridge is always on. Whoa. Wants me to wants you to look at it. Do not take your eyes away from right Rufford. I'm trying to see if there is any code. Oh god, I the do the doll makes me sleepy. Is there anything I need to find? Okay, I saw magnets. I don't know what to do, bookworm. I found dolls, fridges, always wearing it. I think so. Now it's clear why the house is so cheap. Yeah, no shit. I just get stare at it. Uh, why is it? Washing my letter. There's gotta be something. Yeah, cause I'm seeing letters right here. Ah, I gotta find letters. Yeah, fuck you. I didn't know I could move the letters. Insanely diff closer.
There has to be one underneath these papers. You are getting closer and I can stick that. Oh! Fuck you! in one letter. Oh wait, I got an idea. Nope, it's empty. Wait, there it is. Fuck you, bitch! There's a D somewhere. Where's the D? Where's the D? I, I must have the D, bookworm. Where's the D? Jesus. Oh God. Bookworm, I need you to give me your D so I can put it on the fridge. I wonder if it can't move. Okay, I think when it, that's playing, it can't move. There it is. Nice bitch! Yeah, fuck you! When the end. Alright, Bookworm. We're gonna see what happens if I die. So defrig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you are fast. Anyways. I just get put in the refrigerator. Okay. You died. No shit. Yeah, I can't get the game yet. Hey! Why are you so small? There we go. Alright. Oh, the controls. Please help. I can't find my grandson, Timmy. I saw him in the playground, but now I'm too tired to look. I'm worried he's hungry. Will you please find him? Thank you. Empty. So here's the thing. I'm going to be a dick and leave. 
sure we've got help an old man. Fuck. Found a partially eaten candy bar. It looks okay. Maybe Timmy will like this. I can hear Timmy there. Press E, e to give Timmy the candy bar. Gee, thanks, mister. Tell Grandpa I'll be there soon. Thanks for giving Timmy a snack. Come to think of it, I'm no longer myself. We helped the old man one more time. Oh. Guess Martin, extra rare. Again, I'm tired of eating out, the old man thinks to himself. Your body is never found. Timmy would like a, a half-eaten candy bar. Okay, so, uh, fuck you, I'm leaving. Don't throw the strangers, raw. <laughs> you made it home safely because you, did, you don't talk to strange people in the park at night. Good job. Yeah, sorry. Please, thank you. I think this time I don't get the candy bar. Timmy, are you in here, Timmy? Helping hand, medium rare, ending three, one to three. Timmy felt his dinner was a little bland. Your body is never found. They made a sequel to this, by the way. <laughs>